hi honeys welcome back to another video in this video i will be installing our 13 by 4 invisible lace swiss wig it is a 22 inch deep wave wig and i'm just showing you here that it comes pre-plugged it comes pre-bleached also i still like to go in and do my own plucking but our wigs that are a part of our invisible lace wigs they already come pre-plucked and pre-bleached -pre for you it also comes with four combs and adjustable unstrappable band so if you want to detach that you can do that Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And here I'm just showing you guys how the lace is and what the hair looks like when it's not wet. Now let's get into the install, okay? Again, this wig is a 13 by four, 22 inch deep wave wig. This wig is so full, y'all. It's so good for beginner wig wearers. Like, my wigs are top notch, okay? My hair is already braided down. My wig cap is on. I did apply a little bit of foundation to my wig cap. Um, this process is important, so you want to get alcohol and make sure you have a rag or something to wipe your forehead off to get rid of any oils or any dirt that you have there so that your lace can and melt on your forehead, okay? So for this video, I did not apply any foundation on the lace of this wig because I wanted you guys to see how good this lace melts without any makeup or foundation. know I have to be goofy like <laughs> oh my gosh but I truly do love this wig like look how thick it is and that lace is super see-through yes Swiss lace is the best to me because it's super thin and durable and it lasts longer to me but that's just my opinion <laughs> look at how this lace is already like melting into my skin no product at all can we talk about it can we talk about it for real So this video will be a part of our wig installation series. So basically what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys multiple ways on how to apply a wig. There's so many different ways that you can apply a wig. This is not a cook, cookie cutter type of situation. Everyone installs their wigs differently and I thought it would be cool to make a series on how there's different ways that you can apply your wigs. So right now I am cutting off my ear. I'm going to measure out where to cut my ear tabs. And I do that by getting like a little um, lip pencil and just marking where I will be cutting my lace off at. to be cutting my lace with my little scissors and I just got those scissors from my local beauty supply store.
very careful with getting too close to your ear with these little scissors because you can possibly cut yourself. So you want to be as safe as possible when doing this step. And so since this is a completely glueless installation, I am grabbing my Ebon in the red can. That's my favorite one to use. They have multiple ones, but I like the red can one. Um, I am going around where the lace meets the hairline and just applying the spray there. And I like to take a comb to let you guys see what it's looking like. Look how flawless that is. The comb also helps the wig stay in place before blow drying it. So I just like to smooth that area out with the spray as well. And then I use the cool setting on my blow dryer to get that lace nice and melted. to repeat this step until I get to the other ear. And so once the lace is blow dried down, you want to get a band. You can use an elastic band or um, I just use like a regular wrap. So I keep the head wrap on for about anywhere from five to 10 minutes. to remove the remaining lace. So I like to start in the middle and cut it in a zigzag. 
type of situation just to make the wig look more natural. And then I like to go in with my Ebon spray again and just make sure that all the lace is laid down. And I get a rat tail comb and just make sure that everything is completely melted. And then I go in with my blow dryer and I take my headband again for another five to 10 minutes. Again, I did not use any foundation on my lace for this install. And that looks pretty darn good to me, okay? That lace is melted. And right here, I am just wetting the hair to show you guys how it looks wet versus how it looks dry. Leave in the comments and let me know which one you guys like better. Do you like it wet better or do you like it dry? For me, I like how it looked wet. So that's the style I ended up going for. And I did not add any baby hairs to this this time. I usually like baby hairs, but I just wanted to keep it simple to show you guys how flawless this wig is. That is the finished look. Look how beautiful that is. I just did kind of like a sleek back natural look. Um, if you guys like this video, please comment below.